Hey, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to do a video review for the Elect Homes uh, humidifier. So we actually decided to get this uh, for a couple reasons. And what I wanted to do in this video is actually walk you through the functions of this unit. I'll talk a lo little bit about some of the reasons I really like it, why I prefer it over a past humidifier we were using. And I'll really just show you really everything I know about this unit now that we've been using it um, over one winter season. So the reason that we originally got this, we had um, another humidifier and what we noticed over time is when we filled the basin, it would kind of get gunked up and it was very difficult to clean. This was a real challenge and um, despite you know trying to run like hot water through it, really spend more time cleaning it, we were finding that it just really got kind of gunked up, it looked disgusting, and of course you don't want that going off into the air. So we have this now in our um, two-year-old daughter's room and works really, really well for the winter months when it's nice to add humidity into the air. Um, it's fairly straightforward. You have a large LED here, so it's very easy to read. You can see the percentage of humidity in the room now. Um, it'll show a bar in terms of like what the fan speed is at, and then um, it kind of rotates through, you know, like I think this is the current and what it's set to. Um, right now it's off. You have the on off button here. You have a timer setting. You can do screen off. So if you basically want it, um, don't want the screen displayed, you have a child lock. And then that way, um, if this was reachable in our case, it's not because we kind of have it off the floor here, but let's just say we had it on the floor. We could actually lock this and she wouldn't be able to hit buttons or do anything with it. You have a max min setting for um, the percentages, the humidity level. You have a heat mode, which is really cool. Not a lot of humidifiers I've seen have this. And then you also have a sleep mode, which is similar to the screen off where it will put it into like a rest mode and you won't see anything on the display. It's not gonna disturb you while you're trying to sleep. Now, the cool thing about this is on the top, you have um, two pieces here which you can maneuver. Um, it has a really good flow. And before we turn it on, I'll actually open the lid. It's fairly easy to take off. You just kind of pull it from the back. And then it actually has a really large carry handle inside. So you can lift this up and it's easy enough if you need to move it around. It's gonna max level. And what we have is, um, we have this little uh, jug that we have inside of our fridge. This holds 48 ounces of water and this usually fills automatically. It's filtered water. So we'll basically put this into this and you can see it's probably only about maybe a quarter to like 30% up to the max line. So this also holds quite a bit of water uh, compared to some other humidifiers that we've used in the past. And the good thing about that is you know it's going to last all night long. So I'll go ahead and uh, put the cover back on and we'll power it on just so you can see what that looks like. It's usually pretty easy to get this on here. You just have to hit the right clips. If I hit on, and it may actually be on, it takes like a second. There we go. So there you can see now the humidities, uh, the water is basically coming up into the air, adding humidity to the room. And um, it does quite a bit. Obviously we can move this. Um, so if we wanted like extra, let's say I wanted some more to come out of here and more to like flow this way towards her bed while she's sleeping. It doesn't end up having like a stuffy nose in the morning, things like that works out really well. So we've pretty much hit the humidity level. We're, we're, we're kind of moving into the summer months. So we're not going to be running this as much, but um, yeah, it's really awesome. The other thing I wanted to mention with this is it does have a app, so you can actually connect this to Wi-Fi and you can control it from the app. We usually don't do that since we're just filling it at night and we'll just turn it on here, but it is really nice that you have that function if you want to do that. Um, overall, I haven't really noticed um, any issues with it. It works really well and I've been very happy with it. Another last thing I did want to mention is this also has a container that you can actually put essential oil into and it will add essential oils coming up into the air. We usually don't run that because we have cats and essential oils can be bad for cats, but um, this is another optional thing you can do if you want to um, add like a scent into the air, another really cool feature that they allow with this. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you found this video review helpful.